Uh, talk about those signs that you did recognize in James Preston and Adam that I guess, you know, alerted you to the fact that um, they have autism. Yeah. So I would say it was a bit different within James Preston. It was more behavioral. Right. So mm-hmm. right around, I would say, 18 months, we started noticing that he if his granola bar would break as we were kind of getting it out of the package, if it broke in half, that would really throw James Preston off. And he would have a strong response to the granola bar being broken, right? Because for him, in his mind, that granola bar should stay intact and it should never become undone unless I am biting it, right? So when something out of his kind of mindset would happen, it would really throw him off. And it, it would be something as minor for us because we can understand that, oh, okay, it just broke. It's going to break when we eat it. So it's no big of a deal. It doesn't change the taste. It was really hard for him. Um, we noticed that anytime there is a change in his morning routine or, or school, if he you know, knows Monday through Friday, I go to school, but on uh, Monday we have a teacher work day. Um, so he doesn't have school, it would really throw him off. And when I say throw him off, it would be this imbalance that he would feel that would display itself behaviorally, right? So he would have a meltdown. Um, he would have a really hard time regaining kind of that control within his day. Um, verbally, we noticed that uh, at his age, if he was supposed to have, let's say, 75 to 125 words, he was on the very low end and he would have words, but they weren't um, he, he, he was having challenges stringing them together to make a sentence. And we we're so thankful because it was actually his teacher, one of his preschool teachers that alerted us that there may be a little more there. Right. That we may want to look to see um, if there is some sensory processing challenges there. Um, and I was shocked. I was like, really? And they said, yeah, you know, at this age, you know, we understand kids are still trying to understand their emotions. Um, But they noticed that James Preston just was unable to really kind of rein it in. Right. Really be able to to cope if uh, something happened. So uh, we kind of that that interaction with his preschool teacher uh, was very helpful. Um, And they kind of got to start us on our on our journey. Um, And we went with our local each county within our state has like an early intervention program. So within our um, Durham County, we were able to reach out to the, um, what is it like Child Healthy Human Services early intervention program um, and get James Preston starting to get him assessed to see um, if he needed speech, if he needed OT, like what were the services that he would need to kind of help him um, feel a little more in command of his day and understand his emotions. Um, and for Adam, it was totally different, right? So for Adam, we noticed at 16 months, he started regressing. Um, he stopped responding to his name, stopped making eye contact, um, stopped speaking. So he would, he had his words and he was using his words. Um, but we noticed that he just slowly came to a stop with speaking. And he went, I think the longest spurt of time that he would go would be three months, he would go without saying anything, right? Um, So in the midst of James Preston, you know, we're noticing him and starting to get him assessed And here in the state and in other states as well. It's a really long journey, which it should not be, but there is a significant wait list to kind of um, get your child assessed for autism. So it took about, I would say, a year um, to a year and a half for James Preston. Um, but because of James Preston receiving that diagnosis, when he did, it didn't take that long of a time for then Adam to see um, for him to receive his because they had seen that he had a brother that had it. And um, based on his uh, signs that he was uh, showing at that time, you know, we knew that we needed to go ahead and start intervening um, early with various uh, services. Uh, and it's made a tremendous difference. So my husband and I, we always say, Um, if you see something, if something feels a little off or not quite where you think it should be, quickly get the child assessed, right? Kind of take yourself out of the equation and do what's best for the child. 